All right, so basically I wanted to give a short Kabbalistic uh, spiritual explanation on the Passover Seder. So basically what we're happening, we're trying to go out of Egypt. Egypt is limitation. What limits our soul, our full power, our full freedom, it's our body. It's our habits. It's our negative character traits. It's uh, the way also we think um, how to behave and basically the way society pushed us to be, which prevents us from uh, being connected to God and being completely good. So what it is that we're working on? So we're trying to go leave, leave Egypt, we're trying to leave our bodies, emotions, instinct, which is below the head, um, um, and trying to clean that and, and remove and go back to a state of pure consciousness where we are aware of who we really are and that's the three matzos that we have here corresponding to the head the level of understanding a level of clarity a level of um, super consciousness where we we know who we are and why we're doing what we're doing so the set of plate so this in Kabbalah they, we know they are the ten sfirot which correspond to the ten plagues of Egypt which correspond to the ten powers God created the world and they all represented in the seder um, and so we have the plate, which is Malchut, the lowest of the ten spheros. Um, then you have Yesod, which is Chazeres. Karpas is Hod. Charoset is Netzach. Maror Tiferes. Betzar Gvura. Zura Chesed. And then, uh, and um, that's the seven lower spherot. So the seven lower spherot are the seven uh, weeks of spheros Aomer, are the seven character traits that we're trying to refine love and learning how to expand who we are, gvura, strength, din, judge, judging people, um, putting limitations, tiferes is harmony, uh, being able to to be connected to everything, uh, netzach is victory, be able to fight for what you truly believe in, um, it's eternity, hod, <coughs> hod is the service of God, it's beauty, bring beauty and connect inner connection to what you do. Yes, all this connection with people, are you able to connect, uh, being transparent, being a true, um, a, a, a true self and living what uh, God wants you to live without being biased. And then you have Malchus, which is the combination of all those traits. So on the Pesach Seder, it's like a mini Sphere Saomer. We, we have the seven thing and we're trying to work at it we present them there and we we refer to it and we try to get rid of basically all the chames that was there all the crumbs and the things that my love was affected my emotion got stuck with some negativity we try to remove all the negativity from all our feelings emotions instinct and bad behavior and basically we try to go out of the body and then connect to the head the head uh, represents Israel, it's a more spiritual state, it's where we're conscious and aware of everything we do, why we do it, um, and that's true freedom. So, up, okay, that's true freedom. And Paro, which is means Haoref, the letters for Faro is the letters from the neck. Basically, if you want to be free, you have to fight Paro and go leave the body or transcend the body and go up to the head. Uh, Pesach is the mouth that speak. So by speaking and elevating all our emotions and refining all our body desire, we tra we fight Pharaoh. We go up and we go through the neck. A little bit like going through the Yamsuf. Uh, we're crossing the neck and we're uh, going into a place of freedom, free to think. So the three matzos are there. Um Chochma Bina Das or Kete Chochma Bina, but we, the Das is broken, the Kete is broken, we're not completely there. We the, the the full super consciousness will happen when when we'll be free uh, with Moshiach at the end of time when we'll see the big picture. Right now the picture is broken, we don't understand everything, but we do our best. So we, we, we sing and we we tell the story by by making the mitzvah of speaking and eating, it's all with the mouth, fixing the sin of Adam Arishon, who was using his mouth, and the snake, who was using his mouth to seduce. We're eating the right thing with the right intention. We're speaking about who.
who we really are, what's our mission, why we're here, why we went out of Egypt, why Hashem God took us out, and uh, we're becoming Israel again. Um, so that's true freedom. The 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 uh, basically the four cups here enables us to go to the four levels of our soul um, until we reach the fifth nyatsa, which is right. The fifteenth step is to step out of the physical, step out of Egypt, step out of our limitation, and be our true self. Um, and so that uh, so that's a gift. It's on that night. It's one night, one gift where we can experience all that, and we try to feel. You know, we we I'm not. I'm not letting anything, any addictions you have, any habits you have, try, I say that's it, I'm free from that. The only one thing I want is Nietzsche is to be connected to God, to be able to sing to God, to be able to praise God. That's what my life is about. This is the most important thing. This is why we went out of Egypt. This is why I'm doing this center. This is why I'm Jewish, because I'm here to make the world a better place, to be able to connect to God. This is the greatest pleasure and bring the world closer to that, to lead the world with the head, the world is the is, is the body seven for seventy nation, and the Jewish people is correspond to the the three top, which is more the head to the body. The head leads the body, inspires the body, speaks to the body, and that's the mission of the Jewish people, Israel, uh, elevating Egypt, um, the spiritual elevating the physical, so that we can be one body uh, um, and and uh, be all uh, connected uh, forever. So, uh, I wish you all a Chag Sameach. May you enjoy your Seder. And, um, and I will see you uh, out of Egypt in Israel. Hopefully not just next year, but this year already. Chag Sameach all.